Live from Coleman, Alabama, Premier Bank presents Wake Up Coleman. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Jacob Murphy. I'm Natalie Bonner. And welcome to another tantalizing episode of Wake Up Coleman. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm going to have to come up with a better word than tantalizing, invigorating, exciting. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have any adjectives that I could use, just feel free to shoot them at me because at this point I'm starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, it's just really dark outside. It is. It is really dark outside. But you know what? We're going to use that to our advantage. I'm going to pretend that it's still yesterday. <laughs> I don't want to go back to yesterday, unfortunately. I mean, yesterday was Wednesday. What was wrong with Wednesday? Um, you know, it just wasn't a... Um, a wonderful Wednesday, I guess. <laughs> it wasn't a catchphrase, therefore it can't be enjoyed. Okay, yeah, whatever. no, I mean, it wasn't bad, but this weekend is fallback time, so. It is. We all get that extra hour that we all think we deserve, but probably really don't. No, we, we don't We don't just think it. We need it. I, I read a funny story. I'm not going to get into it, but I read a <coughs> funny story about daylight savings time, and it's been, the, it's been the highlight of my life. So if any of you are ever curious about it, you should Google an old Indian proverb about daylight savings. It is actually quite funny. We will have to look that up. Absolutely. So check that out. Well, guys, you know, every day we talk to you about the awesome prizes you can win here on the show. And today is no different. Like every other day, you can win multiple awesome prizes given to us by our sponsors. So let's take a look at what those are today. All right, we have a day pass for six to the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. And a large five-topping pizza from Coleman Pizza Hut. All right, guys, both of those are wonderful prizes. And again, you don't win just one, but both prizes for checking the Facebook page, finding out who the sponsor today is, and then calling us at 256-734-7399. Again, that's 256-734-7399. Check that page out, find out who that sponsor today is, and let us know, and you can walk away with those great prizes. Sounds exciting. Ed, man, it is to me. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, we do have a really awesome guest. We have yes. um, a couple of ladies from Coleman Christian School, and they are going to tell us about a really awesome upcoming fundraiser that they have. Absolutely. We have Miss Jamie uh, McCann and one Miss uh, Christy Falls. And so we're excited to talk to them. They've got a great event coming up, and we're going to tell you, they have some of the coolest prizes I've ever heard at a Coleman event having. So you definitely want to stay tuned so you don't miss a chance to find out how you can walk away with some really exciting gifts. Very true. Absolutely. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Fire. Accident. Storm. They all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat.
Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to mycolemantv.com. There you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's show. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the link to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Alrighty, and we are back again with Miss Jamie Mann and Miss Christy Files. Thank you guys for joining us today. Now you guys are here with Coleman Christian School, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So why don't you guys go into it a little bit? What do you guys do with Coleman Christian School? Coleman Christian School is a complete pre-K through 12th grade school. Okay. Um, we are, our goal is to educate the mind and shepherd the heart. We are giving students a biblical worldview through academics. Okay. And what is your position with the school? Now? I'm the administrative assistant, and I am uh, part of the auction team at Coleman Christian School. Yes, ma'am. And I'm a mom. M mom. Okay. I'm mom. Well, there you go. Volunteer. <laughs> well, Very okay, nice. So, yes, ma'am. So, uh, you know, why don't you tell us a little bit about the school? How long has the school been around? Um, the school has been around. We're in our 11th year, and we have 153 students in attendance um, this year. We're in a good place with the school. You know, in 2011, the school was destroyed by the tornadoes that came wow. through much of Alabama. And um, since then, 7th Street Baptist Church has opened its doors to us. And so that's been home for the past four years. Um, we have land on Golf Course Road that we do plan to be on in the future. But for now, 7th Street is our temporary home. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty, so I'm, I'm hoping that the move, though it was kind of unexpected, worked out well enough? It did, time. it did. As soon as we um, had to have space, they opened their doors and it's accommodated us well. We've been able to grow. We have filled up every bit of space that they have given <laughs> us and we're very thankful for that. How many students do you all have? 152. Okay. 152, and that's spanning the entirety of that is. what you guys Pre-K through 12. <laughs> that's a lot of kids. <laughs> wow, it that's is. very nice. Yes, so, okay, so this event is sort of, the, the events that you're talking to us about are sort of based off of the school, obviously, and that is a dinner and an auction? We are having our annual holiday dinner and auction. It will be on November the 13th at Loft 212 here in Coleman. Um, we will have a silent auction and doors for that will open at 530, and then we'll have dinner at 7. It's a sit-down meal catered by um, local um, local caterers, mm -hmm. designs by Grace, and then we'll have a live auction that will begin at... 740. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the questions that I think everybody wants to know. You, before the show, has told me that you guys have some of the coolest prizes I've ever heard of any event ever. We really <laughs> do. We have uh, we have such a great support network here in Coleman. The, the community really steps up and, and helps us with the items that we need. Mm -hmm. This year, we have secured Super Bowl tickets for wow. Super Bowl 50. Wow. We um, will be auctioning those off. We have got um, a dove hunting trip in Argentina. It is three days and it's for three nights for four people and that is for lodging and covers all of your meals. This is in the Cordoba Valley. The birds here never migrate. So this is, um, this is a great item for that hunter in the family. We also have a Benelli shotgun that we'll be auctioning off that would couple nice with this. We have original artwork from our students at CCS. Each class is asked to do a project, um, and it's a it's a one of a kind, priceless project. And yes, um, we'll have everything from wreaths and Christmas decor to jewelry. Um, we have a new thing this year that we're offering, and it's called the Gold Rush Grab. We have partnered with Gold Rush Jewelers here in Coleman, Alabama, and they have offered 100 boxes. You'll get to buy in for a hundred dollars a box. Ninety nine of these boxes are going to feature loose gemstones of value. One box will contain the Gold Rush diamond. Oh, wow. I know. So once they're gone, they're gone. These tickets will go on sale for these boxes starting at 530. 
Um, aside from what we've brought with us today, we have a Yeti cooler. We've, um, we've got several different coolers that we'll be auctioning off. We've got everything from gift cards for restaurants to spa days, international and domestic vacations. Um, we've got 12 different vacations that we'll auction off, um, ranging from Turks and Caicos, St. James Morgan Bay, um, just a little bit of everything. There's something for everyone. We'll sell grab bags that will be a dollar. Um, some of our silent auction items will even start at five dollars. So no matter what your price range is, um, we hope that people will come out and have some fun with us and spend a little money for a worthy cause. We are a nonprofit, so any money spent that night is tax deductible. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Oh. Okay. So yeah, definitely. I'm all struck by the amount of stuff that you guys have been able to to bring together here. I mean, this is a lot of different stuff. And if you don't mind me asking, this is the one that's intriguing me the most. Though. Yes, all you of mind these explaining these, what this? You can't see these. This are all is keys. Uh, this is for our teachers' table, and <coughs> we will sell keys. They will be ten dollars a piece. There will only be three hundred keys, and once they're gone, they will be gone. But at the end of the night, you will get the chance to bring your key up and try to open the teacher lockbox. And if this opens up. What all is on the teacher table oh, this year? All, there's all kinds of stuff on that table. Um, anywhere from jewelry to, we actually have a beach vacation on that table. So, I mean, wow. it's probably. We try to value the 20, teacher table 2500 or higher in dollar value. So you spend $10 items. on a key, and mm -hmm. if it unlocks the box, that's You get what you everything get. on the teacher's table. Wow. Yes, and you can buy as many keys as you would like. So I know what I'm doing with all of my next three paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> well, tickets are still on sale. You can buy those. Uh, you can buy those by coming by the school, by calling, um, or by going to our school website. Um, individual tickets are $25 a piece. Couple tickets are $45. Um, we are still taking sponsorships. If anyone in the community would like to partner up with us and um, receive recognition for that, it's a good time to do it. So we also have an online catalog that people can, can go and view. Wow. Yes, it's available wow. now website our school website so okay right. and that's www.colemanchristian.org that's great that's awesome yes ma'am so okay so we've we've covered the auction and if people aren't leaving the show at this point to go do that then i don't know what <laughs> will but if we can cover the dinner part now mm -hmm. now these are separate events technically they all kind of roll together doors will open at 5 30 where you can start buying your tickets for the gold rush grab you can start buying keys grab bags you can start bidding on silent auction items then silent auction portion will close. All the tables will close at different times um, within that time span. And then we'll go to the other side of, of loft and we'll sit down and have dinner. And it's a plated meal. It's very nice. Um, caterers do a great job. And then after that is over, we'll roll into the live portion. So it all happens in the same space. We just have it to where it happens at different times. Now, how much are tickets to just get the meal? We don't do just the meal. To get okay. into the event, that does cover your meal, and it okay. secures your seat, and it also gives you access to bid on anything in the event. Okay, good. Okay, mm -hmm. so just clarifying on yes. that one. Yes, and how much is that again? $25 for individual tickets, 45 for couples. So affordable. So, yeah, so everyone go and do that because we have no excuse not to. Uh, <laughs> go out, win awesome stuff, and then brag to all of your neighbors that you did it and no one else did. Uh, so, so, okay, so we've covered the dinner, we've covered this. I mean, and all of this is going towards the school, correct? It this is. This is all to help. It is. It benefits the school. This carries us operational from year to year, um, pays our staff, keeps the lights on, allows wow. us to bring technology into the school. We have one last thing that we feature at the very end of the night, and it's called Gift of the Heart. Gift of the Heart is where people have an opportunity to raise their paddle to just give charity dollars to our school. And this year, technology is what our principal has requested. Um, we're going to look at doing another mobile computer lab and adding some more accessibility to technology for our students. Yes, ma'am. Wow. That's okay, incredible. That's <laughs> In the past, um, how much have y'all raised doing an event like this? We um, we are upward of forty thousand every year. Okay. Wow. This is a, this is a big event for us. It's a big event for the community. Our community should be so proud of itself for the way that they step up and support us. Definitely, this. definitely. I know I've heard a lot about this over the years. Mm -hmm. This is kind of something that y'all have kind of honed and owned, I guess. Mm -hmm. so. Owned and owned. Where I like know? to rhyme. There you go. <laughs> we, we have done it. Stay yeah. Up. Um, well, this is this is probably one of the more exciting events that we've been able to cover, and I'm very glad that you guys came on to talk about it because, uh, for, for, as Natalie stated, we've heard a lot about it, but I've never really heard specifics on it. So now that I know exactly what it's for, I feel a lot better about mm -hmm. this because I thought this was another one of those like ritzy, you know, just sit down and go eat something and then. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice to know that um, 
I don't know. It, it appeals to everyone. Everyone's welcome. You encourage everyone to attend. That's great. Our school Absolutely. is comprised of everyone from pastors' families to just lay members in churches to just your everyday blue-collar worker. We're, um, we're all on the same playing field. We're all working toward the same goal. This is an adult-only event. Um, it's not a formal event. You can come um, dressed as fancy as you would like to, but it's just a fun evening. It's a fun evening to get together and um, show your support for our school. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and if they have any other questions outside of the web page, is there a number they can contact? Absolutely. To just ask? They can call the school office at 256 734 0734. Good deal. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you both for coming on today. I super appreciate thank it. Thank you for having thank us. Uh, we're super glad that you came on to talk about exactly what was happening here. Uh, and I'm sure everyone was glad that you answered what this was because, again, that was yes. the that caught my attention. So, Pretty right. awesome. Well, uh, if you guys would like to come back on at some point and tell us how it all went, Absolutely. we would love to have you. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you both. And uh, thank thank you. if you'll uh, join us again in just a moment, we'll absolutely be right back. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Alrighty guys, well we are back and it is now time for that hint that gets you the awesome prizes if you haven't already checked out the Facebook page. Well, today's hint is kind of an easy one and we decided that we were going to take a little slack on you because we, we throw those hard riddling questions at you every day. Today's is going to be just a little on the easy side and today's hint for you is which one of our sponsors happens to be a utility? Again, which one of our sponsors happens to be a utility? Now obviously, only one of our sponsors is a utility, unless I'm confused, because I don't think Pepsi's a utility, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Dairy Queen's not a utility, unless you count food items, but I, I doubt it. So, again, which one of our sponsors is a utility? And if that doesn't answer you know, who it is, you can always check the Facebook page again, find out who that sponsor of the day is, and then call us at 256-734-7399. Again, that is 256-734-7399. Win those awesome prizes again. Again, that was the Coleman Wellness uh, and Aquatic Center and Coleman Pizza Hut, so you don't want to miss the chance, guys. Absolutely get on that. Okay, before we go into Facebook Friend of the Day, I just have to say that I look like a floating head. I, I just blend right in with the wall. Well, you know, not <laughs> all of us can pull blue, blue off like I can. That's just how it goes. <laughs> all right, it's time for our Facebook Friend of the Day, and our Facebook Friend of the Day is going to be Kimberlyn Grace, and she likes The Walking Dead and Blake Shelton. We would like to give her a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue for being our friend on Facebook. Thank you, Floating Head. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. I look like a floating head. All righty, guys. Well, you know, tonight it is time for our Discover Coleman highlight, and today's Discover Coleman is Baker Productions. <coughs> That's right, Baker Productions. Located downtown in the building with the Chamber of Commerce, Baker Productions offers a variety of things. Now, see, when I thought of Baker, Pro uh, Baker Productions, I always thought it was just an audio and like electronic studio, it is not. They do a lot more than I was aware of. They do lighting for events, sound setups, they install video and surveillance equipment. Oh yeah, that they is, do a variety is, of things, they really do. Um, they also have a repair shop. A repair shop for all sorts of stuff, apparently. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so uh, they are a fully functioning photography studio as well. They've got literally everything that you could possibly want from some sort of production facility. Yes. Uh, they are open Monday through Friday, and they are open from 8 to 5. And on Saturdays, they are open from 9 to 12. Need to mention that. Only 9 to 12. Yes, very true. And, yeah, they really can meet so many of your needs. Great place. Absolutely. All right, so, guys, again, that's Baker Productions, if you haven't figured out. Again, that is located in the same building as the Comas Chamber of Commerce, which is right there to us. I mean, it's yeah, literally and it's located. Yeah, um, a lot of people get confused, but it's located um, behind the chamber in that little alleyway. So that you, doesn't sound scary at all. No, it's really not. But um, where the parking deck is to the chamber, you would just come out and go down that little alleyway, and it's right down there. Good deal. You would know, floating head. You would know. I would know. Floating oh. head knows. The, the floating head knows all. All right, so guys, it is now time for the weather, so let's take a look at that today. Again, the weather is brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet, so make the switch to Mitch. All right, looks like the average high for today is going to be 70, with the average low today at 47. Record high was set in 1963 at 86 degrees, with the record low set in 1952 at 23 degrees. Sunset tonight is going to be at 555, with sunset tomorrow at 7.05 p.m. All right, guys, as you can tell, the weather that we've had over the last few days, though it has been apparent, is starting to calm down. We do have some scattered showers coming up through the north of Alabama, but it looks like the majority of it's going to miss our area. If we have any showers today, it'll be scattered and isolated. It'll be kind of small. Uh, we have a 15% chance of rain today with a high of 71, low of 42 tonight with a 30% chance of rain coming back up again through those little scattered showers. Again, though, tomorrow, 0% chance of rain with a high of 67. We are warming back up finally. Uh, again, we are looking at the you know mid 60s to upper 70s throughout the next course of the week for the highs, and then we are dropping down into the mid 50s for our lows. Now we've seen a lot of fluctuation with that, but it's because that warm front is coming up from the south off that uh, that hurricane that's coming out of Mexico. So we're going to be thankful that we're not the ones dealing with that right now, because if we were, I would be talking to you from about 12 inches of water uh, in a kayak <laughs> probably. Uh, so let's be glad that we aren't the ones dealing with that. Although these scattered rains have caused some problems. Uh, we had power at our house go out for a couple hours the other day. That was not fun. That's true, yeah. So always, uh, you know, stock up on your flashlights and different things that you might need in case of, you know, an unexpected outage. And I'll go ahead and tell you, ice is important. Uh, it may not think of it now, but when your freezer goes out, there's a lot of stuff in there that is very temperature sensitive. Ice can help you with that. Coolers, guys. Coolers are important. All righty, well, if you will join us again in just a moment, we're not quite done yet with you, so we will see you in just a bit. Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to mycolemantv.com. There you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's show. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There, you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the link to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. I'm Pat Moody with the Mortgage Center. Over the past 16 years, we've helped thousands of Coleman County residents with their mortgage needs. During these challenging times, we still stand ready to help the people of Coleman County with their mortgage needs. With rates at record lows, there is no better time to buy or refinance your existing mortgage. Let's work together in these difficult times to make it better. The Mortgage Center. And now, we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to home. taste of just how important the guard is to my community see how the guard can be an important part of your life at nationalguard.com fire accident storm they all happen in Coleman county and for three generations night free insurance has been there for you continuing today with elliot and westcott free customizing your life home auto and business insurance with companies like auto owners state auto and southern guarantee call westcott elliot judy tina angie or nelda night free insurance where people are the difference
And we are back with our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi. And the CRNC truck or treat will be today at CRNC and that's going to be from 4 to 7. It will be located in the front parking lot and come out for a great night of free food, games, and fun. Alrighty guys, I've told you every day, but I'm continuing to tell you because I'm excited about it. The Memphis Bell movie viewing is going on from October 23rd <coughs> to October 29th. Come see the movie at the Coleman's uh, Colmart Theater. Come meet the pilot's widow in the lobby. Learn about the crew before you see the aircraft at the Coleman Airport on Saturday, November 7th. That is Veterans Day. Guys, it's going to be great. You don't want to miss an opportunity to come check out all this great stuff. And the United Methodist Women of Coleman are hosting their annual Holiday Bazaar on Thursday, November 5th from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. This includes a variety of different items available, which will be homemade baked goods and homemade candy. So definitely come out for that great, great cause. And the Pancake Breakfast is going on, brought to you by the American Cancer Society. Again, this is going to be Saturday, November 7th from 7.30 to 9 a.m. This is going to be at the Applebee's of Coleman, but they, and they are asking for $5 donation benefits for the plate themselves. But again, this is a pancake breakfast you do not want to miss. Go check that out. And the Signature Smiles of Coleman will be having a free dental care clinic for veterans on November 11th. Call 256-531-9983 for more information. And the Bosom Buddies Smoked Ham and Turkey Fundraiser is continuing to go on. Coleman County Bosom Buzzies Foundation is having a smoked ham and turkey fundraiser. Again, these are turkeys about 10 pounds more or less. The pickup is November 21st from 10 to 12 p.m. at Freddy Day's Catering, located at 1628 2nd Avenue, Northwest in Coleman. Again, to order, contact Christina at 256-338-6300. And the deadline to order, I must repeat, is November 14th. Costs are $35, but they only accept free payment only, so definitely grab one of those. You don't want to miss a great smoked turkey. And if you have a community billboard, just let us know. You can visit us online at MyColemanTV.com or send us an email at MyColemanTV at gmail.com or give us a call at 256-734-7399. And do not forget to like us on Facebook at MyColeman Television. And again, we are sponsored by Pepsi. And wishing you a happy birthday today, Elizabeth Wilbanks, for this Thursday. And don't forget, we will be doing that weekly winter drawing, so definitely send us your information. And don't forget to send us your anniversaries, and we'll be doing that drawing tomorrow as well. Alrighty guys, well if you didn't already know, our sponsor of the day again was Coleman Jefferson Gas. They're the only sponsor of ours that is a utility, but it is a very useful one. So if you have any questions, definitely give a call at the number on the screen. And again, we encourage you to like us on Facebook. It is important that we hear from you. We are like a long-lost grandmother that wants to hear from her grandchild who just graduated college and is not in prison. That is like the opposite of my life story. <laughs> Don't act so surprised. These are great analogies. No, Here's the point is horrible. that we do want to hear from you on Facebook because it is important that we understand what's going on in the community. And the only way we can find out about the events that we might have missed is through you, your questions, comments, complaints, all of it. It's all very important to us because it is very, very focused on you. So we, we really would love to hear from you. Very true, very true. Please let us uh, know what you're thinking. Abs absolutely, yes, thank you. All righty, you know, well, we've had a great show. We've had a lot of cool things going on. We had a wonderful event to talk about today with the Coleman Christian yes, School. we did. Uh, we've learned a lot about Baker Productions today. I think mm -hmm. we've had a good day. I think we have. All righty, well, I think we'll end this one with a smile. Again, I'm Jacob Murphy. I'm Natalie Bonner. And again, everyone here at My Coleman Television hopes you have a great Thursday, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Have a great one.